Good morning, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so we have been planning for these chicks. We've been talking about chicks for like five years. We finally took the plunge and we ordered months ago. So they just showed up this morning. I couldn't sleep last night because I had a feeling even though the um, tracking said they weren't going to be here till Thursday at 8, I was like, that doesn't sound right. So anyway, sure enough, the Lord, I felt like the Lord tapped me on my shoulder, told me to wake up and look at my phone. And I had a missed call like two minutes prior at 6 o'clock this morning. So here they are. My husband's on a call. And I should have asked him, do I need to wait for you to open them? But he's on a call that could take hours. So I'm just going to go for it. And I'm going to do it with you guys. All right, so they just got picked up from the post office. Here's my brooder. Here we go. I've never done this before. I'm nervous and we have prayed over these chicks. Sometimes they arrive and they haven't all survived. But I have prayed and prayed. Lord, thank you for these chickens. I pray they're all happy and alive. They are, every one of them. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, guys, they're amazing. Hello, babies. I feel like we got extra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my gosh, we only ordered eight. We have eleven <laughs> chickens. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hello. Look. Oh my goodness. This is the coolest. Hello. Welcome home. Welcome home. Two. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how many chickens they sent us. Three. Oh, my love. Oh my gosh, four. Five. <laughs> Look, hello. Six. Oh my gosh, more than eight. More than 11. Seven. Eight. That's 11, so 13. Do I have 13 chickens? Do we really have 13 chickens when we ordered eight? Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Hi, babies. And they're so hungry, I can tell. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I cannot believe how many they sent us. Let's get you guys some water and some food. Here, I want to feed them by hand first so they trust me. Look, look, babies. Here's some food. Food, are you guys hungry? So I guess I've done a ton of research. In the first three days after they're born, they um here, here they um have yolk that they that sustains them. Oh my gosh, look at this little baby runt. So sweet. Here, baby, you gotta eat. Oh no, don't eat the don't eat the hemp. We're using hemp bedding. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. All right, there you go. Here, guys. So I'm fermenting their food, but because the shipping said that they wouldn't be here until Thursday, I didn't start it soon enough because it goes bad. So this will be unfermented, but it has fermentation in it. And then in their water, I'm using coconut like it's regular water and then I also used coconut water and a little bit of garlic because the coconut water has electrolytes in it that will help them get you know after their travels will help their uh, help them come back to life really and oh my goodness boost their immune system oh that's not gonna be good oh my goodness here the food's over here sweetie look at them no, don't stand in it. <laughs> this is so cool. I cannot believe how many we got. That is hilarious. Look at this little baby. I wonder which one he is. We have, we got a Buff Orpington. We got a Silky. So we ordered all hens, all pullets. Good girls are called pullets. But the silkies did not come. Um, here you guys go. Here's water. You're supposed to dip their beak in it so they know where to find the water. There you go. And then they teach each other. 
little one. There you go. Water. Come on, get some water. There's some water. Um, go on. This one does not want, oh, there you go. Good job. Up here. Um, okay, so we got a Buff Orpington, we got a Silky, and the Silky is the only one that you can't tell. It's called straight running, so you don't know whether it's gonna be a male or a female, a rooster or a hen. So we're really hoping for all hens, because we're not really allowed to have roosters here. Um, but I secretly I want a rooster, but my husband's like, no roosters. Um, and then we got a, a salmon favaro, because it has emerald feathers. I got a black astrolurp, again, because it has it's supposed to have emerald feathers, so we will see. Um, what else did we get? A Buckeye, a Delaware, a Silver Sussex. You guys are hungry. Aren't they beautiful? Who's excited with me? Praise God, they're all healthy. Thank you, Jesus, for answering those prayers. They're all healthy and vibrant. Look at them. Even the little guys. Even the very little ones are all healthy and vibrant. This is awesome. Hey, hey, no, hey, no picking on the little guy. No, no, no. That's not cool at all. I'm going to feed him on his own. Come here, you. Her, I guess her, hopefully. It's okay. Here. I guess pecking order is like a real thing. They actually do that. Be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. Up here. I'm going to put you up here. That little guy needs to eat. This one too. You guys are both little. Here. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. <laughs> they're amazing. So, um, I... I've been planning this and researching this for months, and then just last night it was like all of a sudden nesting mode, like I was birthing. Nesting mode like kicked in and I, and I started to rethink everything. This is a, um, there's a heating pad under here to keep it warm. Be nice, be nice. Um, and so I started to rethink everything. I need a bigger waterer, we need a bigger brooder. Uh, so this will be good for looks like just a few days maybe a week and so we're going to order like a like a um a big you know one of those big metal tub things and uh, we're going to use it for a brooder and we're also going to be able to use it for baptisms in our backyard which i've wanted forever so i just feel like this whole thing is such a blessing so thank you jesus and thank you guys for watching with me and for just celebrating with this new, this new journey with us. I'm excited. I've never done anything like this before. They're so sweet. Okay. Thanks, guys. God bless your day. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to read your comments really quick. Tracy, hello. <laughs> Tracy, I love you too so much. Let's see. You are going to be the best chicken owner ever. <laughs> Thank you. That's encouraging. I, this is so silly because I'm not a huge animal person. And so for me to be so excited about this, it was the Lord's grace. My husband's wanted them for a while. Then when he would want them, I wouldn't. And when I would want them, he wouldn't. And finally, we were both on the same page. And I just thought, I hope I don't regret this, you know, because I normally regret animals because I don't like the mess. And I don't know. I just felt the Lord's grace come on me and like just... I don't know. It was just very, very interesting. Never happened before. So over the last few months, just his grace has, has gotten me really excited. I'm going to raise them with herbs to keep the pests away. And I'm super excited about herbal medicine. You know that. And so the fact that I can apply that to the chickens was so exciting. And I don't know. It just feels really exciting and good. And yeah. And so then this morning when I got the, because I couldn't sleep all night because I was researching you know, is my brooder going to be okay? And and then the Lord tapped me and said, check your phone at 6 a.m. So I did, and they had arrived, even though they weren't supposed to be here till 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And um, I was, at, when I was getting ready, I literally thought to myself, what if I'm not a good chicken mama? <laughs> so silly. Like, I'm already a crazy chicken lady. It's so funny. So Tracy, that is so 
just encouraging. So anyway, thanks for joining me in my excitement, guys, one more time. They're already going to need more water. Yeah, definitely need a bigger waterer. So I read last night. Now, I've seen like a lot of brooders. So you put the rocks in there so they don't drown. I've seen a lot of brooders, and they all have these little dishes of water. Well, not all, but some of them, many of them. And I read last night that if you have more than eight chicks, you need a gallon waterer. I'm like, a gallon? Mine's like four teaspoons. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like I'll be running the farm and fleet today, but that's okay. They're amazing. I will keep you guys posted. We're going to just videotape this journey at all times so you can um, see them grow up. The coop is almost done. Randy's got some roosting bars and, and the, the run to put up, but um, they'll be ready to go in there in probably four or five weeks, depending on weather. All right, that's it. I love them. Thanks for joining me. Bye.